Cool. All right. So where's that screen? All right. This is a screenshot I sent you, right? I don't know if you saw it. I'm sure you're busy, yeah. but none of well, them, I, I saw it. none of them um, turned active. And then like a day later, one of them turned active and the other one didn't. And then I just try to make some other ones. And this green, this blue button was even highlighting up for me. So I don't know if yep. it, it, it's a glitch thing or, or what, but no. I literally followed step-by-step step everything that we went over in our last call. I watched a couple other videos that you had and see if I was missing anything. Um, okay. But it just wasn't working, man. So then, so then this, so it's only this last one. It's only that fourth one that's inactive, right? That, and then, like I said, I've tried to create just different ones and it yeah. wasn't, I wasn't even creating. Okay. So then did you refresh the page? Yeah. Yeah, of course. You, well, you refreshed the, I, restarted, the actual... I restarted the computer. I ran an update. I did, I did all that, all that stuff, but yeah. Okay. So then open up that, that fourth one. Let's start here real quick. Open up that LP and then go to manage. Okay. So then that's all it's showing. It's not showing the actual. So it shows the link at the bottom and that pixel is on that page, right? Yeah. This is the same pixel uh, I use with these two. And uh -huh. then even with this, this one I made when I wasn't with you with the lump, the LP course, send me that link. Can you send me that pursuit that pursue PT now.com? Send me that. Yeah. Send it in the chat real quick. Let me open it on my end. Do I have to stop sharing to send it in the chat or no? No, you should you should be able to see chat right there okay. at the bottom, I think. Okay, right. cool. Got it. Let me open it up real quick. Okay, so then this page. Aha, uh -huh. so here's the problem, bro. There's no pixel on this page. So that's the home page. I don't have a pixel on that one. I have a pixel. I'll send yeah. you the actual the uh, um shit. Hold on. So Here's as that. I go through so then that link you just sent me. This one is the link that I've been putting in. This one I know has is, a has okay, a so that's pixel because this one was done through Kartra. Okay, so and send me send me that. Is that the one that's set up under the LP custom? Correct. Okay. And then I don't know if it's because I, I added th this landing, uh, this pop-up form, you know. Um, I don't know if that's throwing it off. It shouldn't. No, no it's that, that wouldn't be it. Let me, um, let me open this up real quick. Okay, cool. So the pixel on this ends in 7274. So that's the pixel, right? That's the one you're using, 7274. Go, um go back to um facebook yeah go to the ads manager and then let's just click on um let's just to the left let's click on um let's click on the 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 triangle actually no click on click on um yeah click on data sources click on data sources we should be able to get to it from there okay so click on add events right there at the bottom in the middle add events clear down up this. Actually, actually, well, shit, there's a problem. I can see it right here. This pixel, you had the wrong pixel on it. So this pixel right here ends in 1166. The page that I'm opening up, um, the pixel ends in 7274. So it's a different pixel. 7270. I don't even have a 7274. You you must you it that pixel. That was actually you know, another thing I was wondering if you could help me with this. Um, is just clean up some of this bullshit that's on here like yeah. i had started um i initially had some uh, a company do it and they mm -hmm. were just fucking up worse than i am mm -hmm. um, and i have just all this crap here that probably just needs to be cleared out um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just run with this and i know from our past calls it's this is our guy and this is our guy well, what what i normally do is i i mean you can clean up everything for sure but what i also do is i i bookmark everything so you want to bookmark everything, create a folder at the top. Um, yeah, I've been doing that. I have, I have my favorites, I have my digital media stuff here. Have your ads manager. There needs to be an ads manager yeah, folder. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Drag that bitch to the left if you can. Like, can you, or actually, well, that's, that's, no, that's not a folder. That's a bookmark. So what I would do is I'd create a folder and there okay. should be like seven, seven different bookmarks in that folder. 
And so you want to bookmark the right ad account. You want to make sure you bookmark the right pixel. You want to make sure you bookmark your custom audiences, bookmark your custom conversions. That way everything is bookmarked and, and, and you know you're in the right account. Um, so that's problem number one. Problem number one is you have a different pixel well, on that what page. Pixel did you, are you reading? Because I don't even have a 72764 that you're saying. Like, it must and, be. It must and be. I, I know like I, I, clicked, I clicked this guy, this guy, and then I did that. Like you said, I, I know I'm not fucking going crazy, man. Click on, um, click on, let's see, X out of this, hit that drop down the top right, the one, two, one, seven, hit that. And then just go to, go to, go to Dr. Cruz. Just, let's just check all of them because that pixel is, is in one of these accounts. So right there, that's the one. So seven, two, seven, four. Okay. So question I thought, but I've been under this account though. Yeah. So it's this pixel that needs to be on that page, which it's not. It needs to be 1166. Correct. No, but it, so help me understand this because I have this business ID and then this account. I've been making sure I'm under this account though, right yeah. here. Yeah. All right. So this one, I, did, I don't even know what this is then. Can we delete? Is this important? Do, can we delete that? I don't even know where this came from. Yeah, you can, you can delete it. Um, what you can do is you can go, well, that's a pixel. So that pixel's that that's the pixel and it's tacked it's attached to an to an ad account so i don't know who's that account though like we I just never look at we can just well this is 7274 so if anything just go to go to settings click on settings i don't think you can delete the pixel but let me see i know you can i know you can inactive you can you can turn the ad account inactive you can't even really delete the ad account you can you can turn it to inactive but you can't even really delete it. Click on settings right there to the right. Let's see what is under settings. I feel like, remember that, that call I had with the update mm -hmm. and it was like mm -hmm. all these glitches. Like, I feel like the, like, I never, why, why do I have five Dr. Yeah. Cruz's? Like I never yeah. created it, it, it. Yeah. I don't know why that happens either, man. Like I have, I have random ones in my account as well. And I don't know where they came from, but I just try to stay away from them or I turn them into something like okay. I actually turn them into something. So, right. um, so th this has happened uh, to you or your customers before. Yeah. Your yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Where random shit just ends up right here. Yeah. I've, I have it in my account. I don't have the, that many, but I, I have like three randoms, but again, they're, they're pixel. These are in this case, these are pixels and a pixel is tied to an ad account. So Correct. it's the ad account that ends up being created the ad account. And, and what that is, is Facebook really just gives you more ad accounts. So as you spend more, Facebook will give you more ad accounts. An mm -hmm. ad account is tied to a credit card. And so it just depends on if you're the type of business that's running multiple projects. In your case, it's just one. So you uh, just I, need I, one. I have two, uh, two businesses. Okay. Right. So you have two businesses. So perfect yeah. example, one ad account is for one business. The other uh, ad account is for the other business. But again, as you spend more money, I, I think that they just add more ad accounts. Um, normally, you have to request more ad accounts, but it looks like they're just adding. They're just adding. But at the same time, let's let's click on let's click on um, click on the the dots to the left. So that's the problem. You have, you're, you just have the wrong pixel. But click on the, okay. the dots to the to the left to the top left, and then go to business settings or go to go to ad accounts. Go to ad account settings. So these different ad accounts right here. Um, you have this ad account, which is, which is Dr. Cruz. And then you have, let's go to, let's go to business settings, click on the dots again, go to business settings. Let's look at the ad accounts from there. Go to um, business settings and then click on ad accounts to the left, right there, ad accounts. So you have, you have this one and why don't you name it? Like name it, click that edit and take away that one, two, one, seven, freaking name that shit. Like give it, unless you want to just leave, leave it the numbers. I mean, but, but if anything, if that's the one you're using, like freaking give it a legit name. Like that way, you know, yeah, main ad, main account. Okay. That's cool. So then, so then if you, if you, if you, um, you're hiding closed ad accounts. So if you click that blue to gray, let's, let's see if we can see them real quick. Okay, you should have more ad accounts in there, but I don't know why they're not showing, but that's fine, whatever. But those pixels are tied to ad accounts. That's, that's what I do know. But 
I don't know why your other ad accounts aren't showing. But at the same time, man, to make shit easier, just bookmark your shit. Like bookmark so you know you're in the right account at all times and just reference back to your bookmarks to get to the page rather than coming here to the ads manager and trying to navigate through shit. Yeah. Go to your folder and click on bookmarks through there. All right, we'll do. Okay, all right, so there's a deactivate button. Um, we don't want to deactivate this one, but can we go no. deactivate one of the other ones or no? That's what I'm trying to I'm trying to see, but they're not showing. Normally, you would you can you can show the hidden ad accounts, but at the same time, you can't delete ad accounts either. You can't delete ad accounts. You can hide them, which which it looks like you're doing, but at the same time, when you toggle that blue to gray, it should show all the inactive ones but in your case it's not um but um i just again i just i i would just stay away from them just bookmark everything and you won't you'll know you'll know not to go to them anymore so like i thought you could delete it but you 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 can't so this is the one you're working on so bookmark this right here like bookmark this page this is your pixel 11 1166 or maybe put like, yeah, main pixel. You got main account, you got main pixel and just bookmark this. What is this events manager? Well, pix I would just call it pixel, main pixel. I would put freaking main pixel, but I would also drop it in a folder so you're, you're adding it to favorites, but I would add it to a folder, like create a folder yeah. and, and All right. I'll do that. Off the yeah, call. yeah, 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 I'll, yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. So let's get that. So, so it's 1166. So click on add events, click on add events right there. And then, and then from a new website, get that code and take it to that cartridge page, go into the edit, go into the builder and edit that shit. So that was, that was issue number one. What did you say was, oh yeah, issue number two. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. What was issue number two? Uh, I guess just clear, uh, cleaning, cleaning them out, cleaning them up out. If possible, but you're saying we can't okay. really delete any. Yeah. You can't delete ad accounts and every, yes. every pixel is tied to an ad account. Each ad account has one pixel. And so. Wow. All right. Well, I feel stupid that the fact this is the wrong number and no, man, I, that shit happens, bro. Look, like, so I, so the number's always here. Yeah. Well, 11, yeah, 1166. All right. So I just got to double check and triple check this stuff. Cause yeah. Or just make sure you're navigating through your bookmarks. Yeah. yeah. That will take you straight to that page at all times. Um, but even right now, like forget about ads manager from this point on, I would just come to a damn page and grab it here. You know, just copy it from there. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm um, trying to do it as I'm I'm making an ad and stuff, but I see what you're saying. So totally. now let me. So now let me come back to my. Let me let me let me refresh. So that was seven two seven four. Let me refresh this page on my end. Bam! Now it's eleven sixty six. All right. Yeah. Now it's active. Okay. So you got, you got active on, on the custom conversion. Perfect. There it is there. All right. Uh, so 1166, 1166, 1166, all of them are 1166. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. And then if you got another minute. Dude, I'm just glad every time I jump on with you, I can find the, the freaking solution. Dude, you're a wizard. But you stumped me once. You stumped me once on the freaking. Well, that wasn't your fault. That was, that was Facebook's. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Switching. So, and did they get back to you or what? What what happened with that? They did. I, I I was on with one lady. She couldn't help me. And then I I reached out a couple days later, and I was with uh, I don't know I guess some guy, and mm -hmm. he was clicking around. Nothing happened then, but then like on a couple hours later, everything kind of worked. So I I don't know. There there he he had real no answer either. That's weird, man. Some of those. And I've heard through one of my mentors where it's like a lot of the Facebook support, they're obviously smart. Like they got to be yeah. smart. Like, but at the same time, I heard that a lot of them are super young and, and they're reading off of, off of, off of guidelines and they're reading off of freaking, you know, the damn freaking help center as well. Like I heard yeah. a lot of them aren't even super, cause I've gone through some of them where, where they're smart 
And then I've gone through some of them where they freaking had to pass me to one person and then pass me to another person. And then I jumped on with a, with, with a client like probably like probably like four days ago and she she and she had she had some random issue with connecting her page to her her personal her personal page to her business page and it was some easy shit and she's like david i reached out to facebook no one can help me i reached out to my other friends no one knows what the hell is going on and i hopped on and i'm like dude there's your issue like it was like a two second freaking call and i'm like how in the hell did facebook not know how to do that like what the hell like it was weird yeah i feel like they need to set up a call center and not uh a tech chat Right. But it's like, shit, dude. To, to do that. right. I don't get it either, man. They're so damn big. It's like, how do you not have some people on the phone? I don't get it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then I got a couple of alerts. I don't know if you saw where, oh shit. Where was I? Where'd they go? There were those red pages. Oh, here you go. These things yeah, I couldn't be delivered. What was that? It couldn't be yes, and I had got like a yellow warning a couple days ago. Now I'm getting this. This message didn't read this last night, and I was going to try and troubleshoot it, but I was like, I got the call with you. So, um, yesterday I also went through clearing house, but mm -hmm. I had a different error yesterday here. But maybe, it, maybe this is this is it. I, I was going through and just deleting some some old old custom audiences and conversions mm -hmm. and stuff that. Mm -hmm. uh, either weren't pixelated or I probably just did wrong. I just wanted to start mm -hmm. and they were like two years old too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I know you said just to clear house with some of that stuff. So I was, I was doing that. So maybe that, that could so, be just that. But in this, this case. Yeah. When it comes to a lookalike audience, yeah, the, the, the custom audience, which is, which the lookalike audience is based off of the custom audience has to be a good audience. Like it has to be. And what I mean by good audience in this case, if it was an email list, it yeah. has to have, it has to have at least, it's either, it's either a hundred or a thousand. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a hundred. I'm pretty sure it's a hundred, but it has to have a hundred, 100, at least 100 solid. But even at 100, that's still a small ass that's audience, small. even yeah. 100, like that's super small. So I think it's a thousand. So we're, where it has to have at least a thousand, um, um, good or, or, or just solid, you know, people in that, on that list. So if you had an email list with a bunch of emails that didn't match Facebook, or if you yeah. had a bunch of emails on that list that were, that were undeliverable, okay. then that would have caused the lookalike audience to not produce at all. That's gotcha. what that error was. So from here, if I wanted to create a lookalike, cause we did custom. So I, mm -hmm. I, I get that lookalike. You just check the box. So get out of here. You, you it's all a lookalike. It's all based on the custom. So, so grab, like a big custom, like that, like that mentorship video retarget, like, like that one would be probably, probably good, but that's based on views. That's based on views. It's not based on, it's not based on an actual, it, it, it is an activity. Someone watched it, but, but at the same time, what, how, how long did they watch that? That's question number one. Yeah. What, what audience is that? Is that a three second audience? Is that a 10 second audience? But really the best lookalike audiences to build around, there's really only a couple. It's not, and it's not that one to tell you the truth. It's not that one. To have a custom audience around video views, that's cool. Retarget the custom audience and that's it. But to have a lookalike audience, you want to base your lookalike audiences around either lead, either leads that were captured. So I went to your landing page, I entered my name and, name and email, and I land on your thank you page. Okay. That thank you page is a custom audience. That thank you page is a lookalike audience. That's, that's, that's lookalike audience number one. And then lookalike audience number two would be on your actual customers. So people who land on your purchase page, thank you for purchasing, I should say. People who land on that page, that's a custom audience. That's a great lookalike audience to turn into. To, to, to turn into. Okay, so, 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 so customers like and lead, firm, leads. Confirmed, confirmed leads, not, all right, so this one was like- 60, A lead is someone who land on your thank you page. Yeah, so- um, so this one where it's views, how about views? And then of the 64,000 people that watched it, maybe 2000 clicked on the actual mm -hmm. web page, and I yep. have their information from, from a pixel yep. Would that work or no. Oh yeah. Cause that's now a custom audience of people who landed on. Thank you for opting in. So can, yeah. can we do, can we do that then from here? Yeah. Just well, from that pixel I pulled from this page. It just depends. This page like, right here, is it from people opting in? So, well, I, I was going to take, 
I have I have some of that, but that's a small, small list. Yeah. Versus the actual people, if, if you look at the metrics on Kartra, there's you know a couple thousand views where they've been on for yeah for however yeah. long. That, Obviously, that's, that's not as strong, but can you make a custom audience from that? Yeah, you can create you can create a custom audience around or, anything. I'm but, sorry, a look alike audience. No. I'm not look alike. Look alike, you only want to do it on 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 people who land on your thank you page from yeah. opting in yeah. to something. Okay. Okay. Or people who land on your thank you for purchasing page. Okay. Those are your two power lookalike audiences. Okay. But to get there, you have to have at least, that's where the 100 is. You have to have at least 100 purchases okay. or 100 leads that have okay. opted in. Gotcha. So, so which here? So, so for, for example, you should have two audiences right here. Which one is it? It's, it's a customer audience. Yeah, MTM customers. And then, and then where is... And then, and then I don't know if you have a, an opt-in page. I don't think you have an opt-in page, right? You don't have. Oh yeah. So I have opt-in pages. I have, I'm trying to get to my, here, I'll just get my list here. So, uh, here, list, my PT list, where are we? ATs is a hundred. Um, this guy. Yeah, so see that? This is, this is what I've had over the, the past couple of years, it, before, even mm -hmm. before I had Kartra. So I mm -hmm. added in the, the customers, okay. I'd say probably about, uh, I don't even know, um, 50 or 75 are, are new since Kartra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's, the, I'd say this would, this is what I want to do. For, okay. Grab these emails. Yeah, you can, you can open up that and you can export it and you can import that list into, into Facebook and create a custom audience around around you do the custom audience first and then you create a lookalike audience around these people how would i export this whole list so right there you click on the three dots to the right i thought you click on name and and let's let's highlight all of them and then, and then try clicking the three dots. See if that gives you anything different. I thought it said like download to CSV file. Let's see, where the hell is that? Is it in anywhere? Yeah, export right there. Perfect. <laughs> so you would highlight all of them like that and then you would export. And then pop this back into Facebook, create a lookalike and put out another ad and now it just kind of keeps, <laughs> keeps going. Yes. So put out, well, upload it to Facebook, create a custom audience and that's going to be around emails. So as you go in and you, you click on create custom audience. Now, now we're looking at the email tab in Facebook and then you just dump all that. You can copy all of them. You can literally just copy all of them and then paste them all in into Facebook. So I have to make a custom audience first before I make a yeah a yeah yeah yeah. The look like is based off off the custom audience. Okay. So go ahead and create custom audience right there, and then you'll click on email, customer list, customer list, and then and then um, right here it's just telling you what is what you can include, um, and then go ahead and click next, and then you can just paste everything. Does your list include a? Do, do they well no not really because yeah there's no there's no customer value so just click no okay because um, all you really want is just okay. is just the emails and then you could just you could just add a list or you can just um or you can or you can yeah copy and paste okay And if I were you, I would let that, let that simmer, like, let it, let it, let it, let it sit for like at least a day, like let Facebook go through it and, and, and let them wait until it says ready. Sometimes they'll say ready right away, but, um, sometimes gather. it won't. Okay. So I'm putting this in, letting mm -hmm. this simmer for, you know, a day. Hours. Yeah. Let it gather its, its data. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, do what, I run an ad or do I create a lookalike? Let's do it. Back? Let's go straight into it right now. It's saying it's giving us the opportunity. So go ahead and click it. Create a lookalike audience. 
Okay, so now this is going to look like audience. That's a source. So again, every look alike is based off of a custom. The custom is a source. So that's the source. And then you're going to select your audience location, US, and then you're going to leave it at 1%. Why 1% over 10? Can you explain that for me, please? Yeah, because 1% is literally 2.9 million people. So the, the broader you go, it, you can go, you could take that 2.9, watch, get out of there, click out, yeah, right there, the 2.5 or whatever that is, on yeah. 1% or 2. Yeah, is that 2.6? If you took it to, to 7%, it's just, it's, it's way too broad. Like it's way, way too broad. And, and the only time you even go up to 2% and beyond is when you're spending, literally, when you're spending a couple thousand a day. Right now at a super small budget, and what I mean by a super small budget is anything below, anything below, anything below 100 a day. Like if you're spending, if you're spending less than 100 a day, even if you were spending 100 a day, even yeah. if you were spending 200 a day, 300, 400, even if you were spending $500 a day, you still don't need to go to 2%. I gotcha. So that's way more people than, than you're going to ever reach off of a hundred bucks a day. Like you're not going to reach 2.9 million. So the broader you go, the more it, it the, the less it's effective unless so you're spending a shitload of money. Would you say to just do one location at a time? Or can do I hit one, yeah. Do one at a time. Do one okay. at a time. Yeah. Why just uh, for my knowledge, why, why is that just so it's more specific? Yeah, dude, for okay. specific reasons. Yeah. For sure. So then I would just create multiple lookalike audiences and hit different regions. You would, yes. And, and that's also your, your strategy for multiple ad sets. So as I go in and set up a new campaign and I set up ad sets, I'm going to have four different ad sets and, and my four different ad sets are going to be targeting four different lookalike audiences. Gotcha. Same ad, just different audiences in each same, one. Same ad, four different audiences, which are your ad sets. And that's hitting. the middle one. Right. So of the three, that's the middle one. exactly. That's the second. Time. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got it. You got it. So just do it over again, do it and do another one and just create another country and then do another one. All right. All right. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, dude. So that's, that's that man. And then freaking, um, now from this point on, bro, it just comes down to content. It comes down to content. Like yeah. it comes down to putting out videos every week, bro. Like you gotta, you gotta dominate that area with, with new content every week. Maybe start a series, start a series. Like, like that, that works a lot. That works really good too. Where like, for example, most people would just put out a video and then they'll just kind of, you know, talk about whatever their message is and you know, whatever yeah. the offer is. And that's that one video. But when you put together a series of videos, let's say it's, it's a four part video series, Video number one goes out and then, and then in that video, you're telling them, yeah, click, learn more. It'll take you here. But then you're also saying, Hey, and also, by the way, look out for our next video. Cause in video number two, we're going to be working on the shoulders and you're not going to want to miss that video. And what you're doing is you're creating custom audiences anyways. Yeah. So now people that are watching training, you know, series video one, you're, they're going to obviously see video two cause you're going to retarget them. And then you mm -hmm. just take them on a journey. You take them on a mission and, it, and it's a series of, of videos from one to four. Yeah, you know, and 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 that that works really good too, because it allows you to put together this content where it's based on a four-step series, rather than you just thinking of what damn what should this next video be, right? Break it down into four. Understood. Makes Understood. sense. Yeah, perfect. That man. works too. But but perfect. yeah, my point is that it just it just comes out of content, like putting out videos and then putting out another one and putting out another one, and just and just and just and just testing different pieces of content. Maybe maybe with, with video is king. But, but also sometimes maybe you want to want to test some images, mm -hmm. like get some, get some cool shots of you, of you working out or you working with, with a client, a, a sick ass image and run mm -hmm. that. And, 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 and when it comes to split testing the image, that's when you can have four different images. So on the ad set level, you're targeting four different audiences, but on the ad level, which is the third tab, you're testing four different images. Yeah. So it works testing bro testing 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 without breaking the bank and and just testing and seeing which one pops and and once that one pops it makes up for all the ones that didn't pop yeah so keep that in mind and, and when i'm testing what what's a good i'm sure obviously it depends on, on people's budget but what's a good kind of threshold is it is it five per ad ten per ad like or ad set i should say um i mean again, when, when testing versus when i'm trying to go all in i have this big product this one i want them to buy versus okay i'm testing some stuff um, I, I would i would just 
stick with the CBO, stick with setting the budget on tab one, yeah. CBO, and just yeah. put your budget there. Put put the yeah. budget there and, and do it lifetime and, and do it for seven right. days. Okay. Yeah, All do right. it seven days and don't even worry about daily. Like let it All ride right. for a week on, on four different ones at a decent budget, you know, and in a decent budget, what it, you put 150 the first time, that's a decent weekly budget. I mean, yeah. that, that, that's where you want to be. That's 10 bucks a day. Actually, no, what, yeah, that's freaking, yeah, it's about a little over 10 bucks a day, right? For if you're running uh, it for seven uh, days. Yeah, just under 20. Yeah, under 20. So shit, bro, you're fine with that budget. That right there should find you some, some winners. Okay. Okay, so just keep me posted on that though, man. Keep me posted on that. Definitely, man. Cool, Good buddy. Luck. Hit me up anytime then, man. Have a wonderful day. You too. Take All right, buddy. Late.